How did you start with photography? Um, how did I start? No, I must have focused there or did I move around too much? people now, or when I'm walking with people, the vast majority of the people that I'd have walked with would be, they wouldn't have much experience. Like I wouldn't be dealing with a lot of very established miles like that, they'd most be kind of personal portrait sessions for people who just want photographs of themselves for future reference or for gifts or whatever. So I'd let them, generally let them pose themselves. I think most people look themselves in a mirror enough times in their life they have an idea of what way they look best. And then I'll step in if they do something that looks a bit awkward or uncomfortable uh, uh, through the camera's end. Then I'll step in and I'll say, oh, do you want to you know, adjust yourself this way or that way and we walk them down. Um, well, I think when you're dealing with photography now, I think the vast majority of the stuff I've been doing has been dealing with people um, over the last year or so. And I think that the more you deal with people, the more you kind of get comfortable with just generally interacting with people and all that and I think that's ultimately regardless of whether it's a port or session or if you're out in the nightclub or if you're you know doing a product shot for them and they're in the photograph I think that just the more you spend dealing with people the easier it is to I suppose to have some input or interact with them and get them to move around and do things um, my biggest issue would have been when I first started doing social stuff about a year ago and um, I was very kind of nervous or anxious when it had come to moving people around and i just let people, I'd say, I'd pull the camera up and just take the photograph as they are. Whereas today with portrait sessions, um, again, for the most part, I will let people pose themselves, but I, I don't feel uncomfortable now jumping in and saying, oh, can you, can you move your chin a little bit this way? Or do you want to put your arm here? Or do you want to, do you want to try something different? And I think that um, I, I'm a lot more comfortable with it. And because I'm more comfortable with it, I think that from a model perspective, I seem a bit more confident in what I'm doing. So I kind of have a bit more legitimacy yeah, yeah, that one's, I like that one. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is anymore, my eyes I think uh, with Facebook at the moment, you have a platform where everybody has a small compact camera or a camera phone and they're uploading photographs. And you have a certain amount of people out there with professional level cameras or with DSLRs that are too big and clumpy to be carrying around on night out. Especially if you're going to be bringing flash guns, that can take. nobody brings that stuff out on night out. Too easy to break and far too big and bulky to be carrying around. I think Facebook has created a platform now where venues and towns like Drada, um you know, say you've got a star and crescent or air art or Barocco brew etc they're all uploading these amateur photographs and i think there's a platform there where if they get a, pro a proper professional photograph even if they just get a proper camera gear spend the grand get a camera get a flash gun to each one of the staff members there to use it and they put up professional quality photos i think it can really elevate uh, their image to have proper professional photos because it'll stand out from whatever else it do the only thing that separates me from you know, Joe Soap with his little camera in his pocket is the image quality. I can give you a, a crystal clear photograph with a proper flash gun and all that kind of stuff. Whereas his is going to have noise over it, the, the lens is going to be in his bag, it's going to be dirty. Once you get an SLR sensor in there, and anyone that has any kind of idea on how to wipe a lens, you know, with a little bit of tissue paper to make it look clean, that's, that's photography dead and buried for venues and all that kind of thing. I, I don't think that that's going to continue. And I think everyone's going to have an SLR quality camera. In 10 years time, 5, 10 years time, everyone's going to have be able to produce that kind of image quality.